you know how we had stone age where stone tools were used for survival and then we had ice age and now i say we are living in ai age where it's wild how much easier it is making our lives and a big chunk of a young adult goes into studying so why not use the best ai tools for studying and this is where i come in hi i'm hadika maksud and i talk about effective studying ai tools studying abroad and scholarships. So if this theme interests you, subscribe to my channel and look for more videos. And today we are talking about another AI tool which will help students and young professionals with research work. This one is called Answer This. So if you want to do literature review within minutes, or if you want to summarize a PDF, get information from a PDF without reading the whole document, if you want to write a document or an essay, if you want to generate some diagrams, you want to look at citation in the best visual manner, this tool is for you. So let me show you how this tool works. This is their main page. The left column and the top bar has all the content features of this tool. Let's first go ahead and see how literature will be done. So we'll start with the first bar, which is new. And we see a tab here where we need to write something. So I'm going to say how to improve. So we're going to say how to improve as a student using AI tools. Simple question that I'm sure a lot of students have as of now. It's analyzing the question for me, and this is where it's going to get all the information from multiple papers and give me an answer. What I really like here is the those little did you know parts where it's like chunks of information coming to you. So these bits are pretty exciting. It's like you're still engaged while the system is doing its work. All right, so you see it's divided into two columns. On the left side, we see the whole answer with all the headings and subheadings, and it has the numbers. So those are reference numbers to the papers, research papers where the information has been gathered from. And on the right side is the source. These are the research papers. And if we go down, we can see exploring the influence of AI, the impact of adaptive learning, and so on and so forth. So all the papers that are related to the topic that I want information for. Now, let's go and let's click on one. So I had that in the check box and I click save to library. So I have two options, chat with paper, save to library. Let's just first save to library. And I can also just go ahead and if I click on the paper, I will be directed to the link of the paper itself. And let's go back. And now let's do the second feature, which is chat with paper. So let's click here. So now on the left, it's uploading the paper. There you go, revolutionizing education through AI. And on the right, I'm just going to write, summarize the paper with the key points. And there we go, we got the summary and it's actually with headings. That's pretty interesting. And towards the end, you see that there is a citation style. So now let's go ahead and ask another question. What research gaps has this paper filled? All right, this has given me good information and I like the part like filling the gap in administrative optimization. So the headings are very helpful for me to just go ahead and pick a heading and then read about that. Now, let's go down and I wanted to show you the citation part. You can change the citation style. APA, you can change it to Howard style or whichever. I'm going to do APA and then copy it and then you can paste it wherever. Similar to one paper, we can start adding more papers to the library. So, so all of these papers are relevant to the topic that I want. So I'm going to click on the checkbox and click save to library to the papers that are of my interest. Now let's go back, click library and there is your library. All the papers are here. I can do a list view. I can get all the information as a list. So four papers are here, then table view. I would go for the table view. Then I can sort by the dates. I can sort the library by citation. So the first one is having the maximum number of citations, 97. And then the next one, uh, lower and lower and so forth. Then comes exporting it. So I can export it as a CSV file and I can export it to BibTeX. The other option I wanna show you is called enable precise search. If I have enabled precise search, I will get the answers from the entire content of the PDF and not just the abstract or the title. 
And this creates a whole difference because it will give me more accurate results. And then if you see down here, the blue dot is telling me that precise search is activated for that paper. Let's come to the next option, which is projects. So here you can create your own project. So if you're working on a couple of different topics or a couple of different projects, you can have them in separate folders as separate projects. And then your library and your research papers will be segregated based on the topic. So the first one I have done is AI for tools. I'm going to write AI for tools do, do the domain as humanities. And that's where my all queries of students using AI tools is stored. Then just to show you i can click on add new project i'll do let's say environmental sciences we'll create it in the domain ecology and now you can see that there are two different projects on my answer this project section it is showing me that i have done no queries about the environmental sciences part now to add to that i can just go to search and i can write one of the options for example how can climate change impact the ecology and um, let's click search it's going to fetch me research papers from its big big database so there we go we have a lot of research papers and i can do the same thing i can chat with the separate papers i can save them to library i can look at their pdf i can copy citations and so forth another interesting feature i want to show you is citation map i found this feature really interesting because a lot of times when we are deep in the research and we have so many reference papers and then so many citations we get lost so a citation map will help you stay connected to the most relevant research papers and will also show you the connection between different papers which has been cited more by which one and so on so let's go ahead and choose a paper and i'm going to click on the paper revolutionizing and then if we come down here we'll see that doi is there so let's copy that and then we go back to citation map, paste it there and then search. And this is where we'll get the paper and then set as origin. So this is the original paper that we are working on and click OK. And there we go. We have the citation map. If you click on paper info, there we see the info on the right column. Now, if you click on each circle, each circle is a separate paper and we click on that, it will be highlighted and it will show me that paper on the left side. Now, if we go to the metrics, we will get to see the most cited papers, which is a very good information for us. We will get to see what papers are cited the most and that we can use as the most relevant ones. Then we have the most connected papers, which is different from how much it is cited. And the other options are top contributing authors and so on and so forth. Now we get to see the control section and you can see the arrow colors. If it's a reference, it's a red in color. If it's a citation, it will be blue. And then indirect connect is shown in gray. The next option is diagram. Writing a description of what kind of diagram we want and then we want a flowchart or a class diagram journey where I say I want a mind map and then my description is use of AI tools for higher education. Just a general topic and let's generate a diagram. Click generate and voila on the right side we have a color coded mind map. This is amazing. You can download this diagram, you can have it as a PDF. All right, this was all about creating a library, doing the literature review, having projects and the citation around that. Then we have AI writers. Click here, we have a blank page. The best part is you have your document on the left side, which is a blank page right now. And on the right, you can ask for multiple, multiple topics and description and will generate an essay for you. And then you can add that to the main essay. Let's go ahead and see. I will start writing. So the topic would be AI tools for students. Students can use AI. Then I have an option of number of headings. So let's say I want three headings and for subheadings, let's say two is good. Generate outline. All right, outline generated successfully. So I have the answer in this small box I have the headings and I have a lot of references as well so these numbers are all the reference papers now it is asking me if I want to replace everything I want to add it to the beginning or to the end of what of this document that I want to work on so I'm going to say add to beginning let's go and drag it a little bit here so you can see the document here the citation is also added automatically. And then the ease is that you can always go ahead and change the style that you want. And it will also change the way the document is written. So what if I want to add something here? Skill development. All right, then say, give me a list of 
skills this for business students well let's just say we want one heading this time and we do not want any subheadings i'm going to change that so generate outline we have the outline essential skills for business students what i can do is copy it and then paste it here now within ai writer we have the option of ai edit so this if you look here edit selection using ai if i want to use this i can select the motivation pack so i can reword which i need selection for so let's say language learning i go ahead and select this i can reword it i can summarize that and then the other option is to continue writing so that's also a very very customized form of how I want to write further in it. Then there's an option of assistant where I can enter an, a question and then it will help me throughout my research and my essay writing. Let's say I want to do a little bit of formatting. So if I have this heading, I can do heading one, two, third being the smallest. Then I can do bold, italic, just a very simple form that I can justify, right centered the way I want it to be. And I can add a table. Then when I'm happy with the document, I'm going to save it. And I can also then export it. All right. So this was a brief introduction to another AI tool, which will help with research and literature review and writing. and. Give it a try. Let me know how you find the different little features that it has with the AI writer and citation map and the diagram. And let me know if this is something that helps you. I think with tools like these, literature review has become a lot more fun rather than being an exhausting process. Start doing your research with fun. Until my next video, bye bye.